Prairie Schoolers and happy Friday. I'm hanging out in my backyard today with my dog Maggie and we're doing some bird watching. And while we were watching our bird feeder here in the backyard, it gave me the idea that I could start doing nature journaling every day to document and share my observations with what I'm seeing at my house with you and then invite you to start your very own nature journal too so that you can share with me what things you're seeing and discovering. Now I know some of you might not have your nature journal at home right now and that's okay because you can use lots of different things to start your brand new nature journal. It could be just a notebook or an old journal that your parents have and aren't using or you could even just take your white piece of paper and fold it in half to create um, a new nature journal and put those pieces together over time. Now remember there's some very important pieces that every nature journal entry should have. The first is the date. So today is still March, the third month out of the year. So I have the number three up here at the top. And then I have the number 20 because today is the 20th day of March. The other piece that's important is to have a word that describes what you're seeing. Now, since I'm bird watching, but I don't know what kind of bird I saw, I just wrote the word bird. But if I knew what kind of bird it was, I could spell that out instead. So the bird I saw had black on the top of its head as well as just under its beak. Its face was white and the rest of it was kind of a gray brown color. So when you're drawing your picture, you can try and use the colors that match exactly to the object that you're seeing. It's like taking a picture with a camera. The next thing I can do is add some details. I can include things like what the weather was like today, which today, as you can see, it was blue sky with just a few clouds in the sky. The other things I can include is where I saw this bird. So I saw this bird in a tree on a branch. So I can draw that too. Now for the final step, after you've added those extra details, is to share your journal with a grown-up. When you do this, you can share your observations about what you saw and your grown-up can write those words. If you have an older brother or sister at home, they can also help you with writing the words. Here's my nature journal. I have a, the date up here that says 320. I have the word that describes what I saw, which is b bird. I drew a picture of the bird I saw. I added details around the bird of where I saw it. And then I had a grown up or an older sibling write the words for me. And mine says, I saw a bird sitting on a tree branch. It had black on top of its head. I think it was taking a rest. I look forward to seeing your nature journal pictures and learning all about the cool discoveries you're making while you're at home.